Hi, in the previous video, we studied the conceptual map of chapter four, and we outlined that it, the learning objectives of this chapter include understanding how it is that one characteristic or quantitative variable can help us understand a second one via an established association between the two variables and in linear situations in linear structures or linear models or in linear visuals of the data we uh, call this association correlation and the correlation is key at then uh, enabling us to build a model a model of, that is algebraically linear that we refer to by the term linear regression so that uh, through linear regression we develop a sense of how well the x or explanatory variable enables us to explain why the predicted variable or the response variable and to what extent it does not and to provide us with different statistics that gauge how well one variable can help us understand the other. So what we're gonna do in this video is go back to the underpinnings of this particular story and this particular model such that we are able to identify the average value of X and the average value of Y the mean value, so to speak. We're gonna use the letter X with a bar on top for the mean of X. And we're gonna use the letter Y with the mean, the bar on top to describe the mean value or middle value of Y. And this little heart symbol in the center here the heart of the data, the center of the data would be this two-dimensional data point where the mean of x and the mean of y meet or intersect. At that point, we really have the center or origin of the entire data. We have the center by z-scores, by standard deviation units, be it in the case of variable y or in the case of variable x. So the z-scores of y and the z-scores of x have an origin at that point. It just so happens that the best fitting linear story at that location is one in which the z-scores of y have a, basically an intercept of zero and a slope equivalent to the correlation coefficient r times the z-scores of x. So it is the case that in this orange line we have a of a, a, a model where the correlation coefficient plays the role of the slope of the line that relates the z-scores of x to the z-scores of y and allow us to predict y from x via the correlation coefficient, but not in their original units, rather in standard deviation units. And so the correlation coefficient is at the core of the whole notion of regression. And uh, it is therefore the one statistic that is really critically important in chapter four that you learn how to measure and how to use properly um, in StatCrunch and in the lab and quiz and in, as well in exam two. In our next video, we're gonna therefore concentrate on just looking at the concept of correlation and how we arrive at it. Thank you for your attention, and I'll see you on the next video.